Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstand says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent 
and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like a shaft which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang tawag ng bilog na itim na nasa gitna ng ating mga mata ay pupil. Yung nakapaligid sa pupil ay tinatawag na iris. Yung iris ang dahilan kung bakit sabihin natin na yung mata ng isang tao ay kulay asul o kulay berde. We would say, oh, this person has green eyes or blue eyes. Most of us would have dark brown eyes. Iba po yung black eyes. Hindi na yun kasama sa 
kulay ng mga mata ho natin. Nasa harapan ng ating pupil at iris yung cornea. At nasa likod yung tinatawag na lens. Yung puti na nakapaligid ng ating pupil at iris ay tinatawag na sclera. At dahil yung ating mga mata bilog nasa likuran, halos bumabalot ng ating mga mata ay yung tinatawag na retina kung saan nandoon yung mga photoreceptor cells. Mga cells na sila yung dumadakip, tumatanggap ng ilaw, liwanag. At ito ay dinadala sa pamamagitan ng optic nerve sa ating utak. And there, visuals, images are processed. Photoreceptor cells. Sila yung dumadakip ng images, ilaw. Tiwanag, kaya tayo ay makakakita. Pwede po bang eye transplant? <clears throat> Wala pong buong mata ang tinatransplant. Ang kaya lang sa teknolohiya ngayon ay corneal transplantation. Yung nasa harapan. Retinal transplantation is futuristic. Wala pang innovative technology ang kaya na pwedeng palitan yung retina kung nandoon nasaan nandoon yung mga photoreceptor cells. Pinagit natin yan dahil kung walang retina o wala yung mga bahagi ng mata, ang tao ay bulag o nabubulag. Dahil siguro may sakit o siguro nung ipinanganak, gano'n na talaga bulag na siya. Paminsan, nakakakita tayo dahil nga may liwanag. Ngunit, wala tayong makita sa likod. Wala tayong makita sa ating gilid. Meron tayong peripheral vision. Hanggang dito lang ang makikita natin. Ito. Yung nasa likod, hindi natin makikita. Mismo yung ating mga mata. Hindi natin makita. Subukan natin. Tingnan ninyo yung inyong mga mata. Hindi pwede. Kailangan natin ng salamin. Kaya merong mga blind spots. Yung nagmamaneho ng sasakyan. Maraming blind spots. Kahit nga nagmamaneho ka ng kotse o truck. Blind spot mo. Pwedeng nasa harapan. Hindi mo nakikita. Kaya merong mga rear view mirrors. Merong side view mirrors. Para sa ganoon, may makita tayo sa harapan. Yung iba, merong mga dash cams. Hindi lang nakatutok sa likod, kundi sa harapan din. Dahil gusto natin makita 360 degrees. Hindi lang 20-20 vision. Yung isang... Mama na nasa Jericho, na natagpuan ng Panginoong Jesus, hindi pinangalanan ng ating ebanghelistang si San Lucas. Pero kung doon natin tingnan yung pangyayari sa ebanghelyo ayon kay San Marcos, may pangalan po siya. Pangalan niya si Bartimeo. Bartimeus. He was a beggar sitting by the side of the road in Jericho. Pwede nating sabihin na etong si Bartimeo hindi lang bulag na bulag. Nakakakita siya, meron lang siyang maraming mga blind spots. Maraming mga blind spots si Bartimeo. Meron bang ginawa si Jesus upang mapagaling si Bartimeo? Ayon sa Ebanghelyo ni San Marcos, ang sinasabi, ang sinabi lang ni Jesus, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. O, umalis ka na. No? 
umalis ka na. Yung pananampalataya mo, pananalig mo, ang nakaliligtas sa iyo. Ngunit sa Ebanghelyo, ayon kay San Lucas, yung ating napakinggan ngayon, anong sinabi ng Panginoon? Have a sight. O magkaroon ka ng paningin. Babalik sa iyo yung paningin mo. Have a sight. Your faith has saved you. Anong meron sa pananampalataya? Unang-una, ang pananampalataya ay regalo. Ito ay isang biyaya. It is a gift. And because it is a gift, it is free. Meron bang regalong binabayaran? Meron bang regalong binibenta? Wala. Kaya, biyaya mula sa Diyos. It is a free gift from God. And we receive this through hearing. Kaya sabi ni San Pablo sa isa sa kanyang mga liham, faith comes to us through hearing. Faith is the photoreceptor cells of the eyes of our soul. If our physical eyes gives us, give us vision, give us sight, the eyes of our soul which are in the photoreceptor cells of those soul's eyes, give us insight. Sight and with faith, insight. At dahil ito ay biyaya bula sa Diyos, kumbaga ay kasama na ito sa package nung dinisenyo niya ang tao. Nandoon na kailangan lang nating i-switch on. Kumbaga, naka-off na siya dahil installed na siya doon. Package na siya. So, it is already there. Kung gagamitin natin ang tawag niyan, acts of faith. Dahil kumilos ka, ginamit mo yung regalo. Kaya paminsan tayo, panahon ng Pasko, Namimigay nga tayo, hindi naman magagamit sa ating pinagbigyan ng regalo. Kaya mag-isip-isip tayo, gagamitin kaya niya ito? So, acts of faith, they come from faith as free gift from God, donation from God. When you ask for it because you have need of it, believing you will receive it, it will come true. To you, dapat tayo maging bato balani ng donasyon ng Dios. Make ourselves magnet of God's donation of His free gift, and then we use these gifts well. So Jesus is telling this beggar, blind man named Bartimaeus, "Oh, nanjan na, nanjan na yung biyaya, nanjan na yung regalo." Gamitin mo lang, kumilos ka. Make use of it and use it well. So our gospel today would record that scene. Mas maganda doon sa salin ni San Marcos dahil nung sinabihan si Bartimeo, Uy, tinawag ka ni Jesus, anong ginawa niya? Tinapon niya yung kanyang lambong. Tinapon niya yung kanyang balabal. At Patalong tumayo. He sprang up and he came to Jesus. And that gesture means that we must make full use of faith. Every day is a good day to make full use of faith. And when we come to the Lord, we should not bother Him with our small requests. Let us allow the Lord to be the generous and provident God that He is. Ano ang kahilingan ni Bartimeo kay Jesus? Hindi pera. He was a beggar, but he did not ask for money. He wanted to see again. He wanted his vision to be restored. 2020. Na sana 
Wala nang mga blind spots sa kanyang paningin na sana hindi lang meron siyang sight, kundi meron siyang insight na magagamit niya yung biyaya, regalo na ibinigay ng Diyos sa kanya. Ang katanungan, do you know what you are asking for from the Lord? Ano ang kahilingan natin sa Diyos? Siguro maliit lang yan. Handa ang Diyos magbigay ng mas malaki pa. O siguro kailangan na palakihin ang ating mga pagpupunyagi. Dahil maliit lang ang sisid lang sa ibibigay ng Panginoon sa atin. So here, we need to believe. The right word would be trust. Confidence in God. Na hindi lang nananalig, naniniwala tayo. Meron tayong katapangan. Katapangan na ibibigay ito ng Diyos sa atin. For your faith has saved you, says Jesus to Bartimaeus, the beggar in Jericho. And this is precisely what the 18th century Protestant pastor His name is John Newton intimated in his uh, most memorable lyric poem in the first stanza. Palagi natin tong palagi natin etong kinakanta. No? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Tandaan, faith is not what you can do for God. Faith is what God can do for you. Please stand. We ask God, our Father, to open our eyes so that we may clearly see His path. Follow Him wholeheartedly. Our reply, Lord, let Your light shine on us. Lord, let Your light shine on us. That leaders of the Church, through the witness of humble lives, may show us the direction to God, the Father's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let your, your light, light shine on us. us. That through our acts of kindness, we may always seek out those who are despised, rejected, or unloved in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let your light shine on us. That like the blind man of Jericho, we may have firm confidence in the healing presence of Jesus and follow him in the pathway of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let your, your light shine on, on us. That the sick and those who suffer from failing eyesight or blindness may find healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let your, your light shine on, on us. That the dead may receive eternal rest and perpetual light in the glory of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light shine on us. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Friends, O oh Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection, we confess with living faith and his coming in glory. We await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga, magandang buhay sa lahat. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. The pioneer and perfecter of faith is Jesus himself, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.